Meteorologist Allison Pryor is standing by in the Storm Alert Center with our afternoon forecast as we head into the weekend. And Allison, we were talking about it. You got that video yesterday mm -hmm. from a viewer and you have some more pretty video of a nice winter scene. Yeah, so I mean, it obviously it was limited across our area. That one you already saw was from Kegel Mountain. We'll take you to another mountain in Sequatchie County. This one right here, this is Fredonia Mountain. So Kimberly was kind enough to send us a video yesterday if you were watching then. Uh, snow started there. Of course, they had some wintry mix too, and she sent an updated video from this morning, even a few additional flurries falling this morning, and there's a nice dusting on her deck and the railing here. So that's what the kind of the picture is. Just a few spots for our area with dusting. Uh, both Angela Kim and Caroline Corrigan were out this morning on Signal Mountain and on Grundy County around Mont Eagle, and they saw a few flurries. So as that cold air really settled into the Tennessee Valley, squeezed out a little bit of residual moisture with some of those flurries. Now you're not going to see any of that. We have some great blue skies, so just a few clouds out there at this time. Overall, it looks nice outside, but you still need to bundle up because it is certainly cold. Look at our temperatures right now. Yes, we have some places that are in the 20s, 30 degrees in Dalton, but we still have a couple of locations that are in the teens. 19 degrees in Southern Walker County, 18 degrees in Bledsoe County, 14 degrees in Altamont. And of course, we have that cold winter wind blowing from the north at nine miles per hour. So that means, yes, there is still that wind chill. Single digits at this time remain in Altamont, feeling like five degrees, feeling like 13 degrees in Bledsoe County. So those coldest temperatures shown by that magenta pink color. So certainly Grundy County to Van Buren County, down the ridge lines here on the eastern side of the Sequatchie Valley and a couple little spots off to the east. I had another report this morning of a half inch of snow in Van Buren County. So it's going to be a cold day, but at least you have that sunshine. We'll take a look at your afternoon planner and of course what to expect this weekend coming up in about 15 minutes.